I'm Greg Humphrey, as you may know, and with me, dead, Caden Towie, forever love. We are now doing the 19th episode of Craziest State, where we take videos from, well, not videos, but news stories from the internet, mainly HuffPost, and we put them in a bracket according to which state, and we let them move on until we have a final winner. Last time, Oregon and Arizona moved on through the bracket. This week, we have a very long list of states. I'll let Claire tell you. Which brings me to my next point. This week, we have Claire Holland and McCormick Trulock. Hello, I'm Claire Holland. With me is McCormick Trulock. This week, we have Connecticut versus Minnesota, Virginia versus Kansas, Tennessee versus Mississippi, and Pennsylvania versus Nebraska. Bracket should be popping up on your screen now. And as always, we do have a disclaimer. No one died in the making of these stories except for our poor cameraman, Caden Ritali. A bear in Minnesota was harassed by a couple of campers after licking one sleeping man's face. The bear was yelled at, screamed at, and even had a pot hit on the hatchet just to scare it away. The poor bear backed away slowly so as to not scare the men further. In Connecticut, a man didn't like the way a worker was mopping and grabbed the mop and started mopping aggressively. What happened after? Well, the cop shut up and he was arrested for disturbing the peace and he, he started threatening the police and was later charged with second degree threatening and had to pay a bond of $20,000. Well, in Virginia, a school board member had to read aloud names that signed up to speak. And unless he knows a bend over, film a kraken, or an alcoholic, <laughs> and he got Bart Simpson. <laughs> the greatest story ever. Our script hates me, I think. Pretty sure he does. Well, a Kansas, per uh, a Kansas person's 300-pound chimp got out and started terrorizing the neighborhood, uh, jumping on police cars. Animal control later got, later caught the ape under control and after tranquilizing it. Well, a family in Tennessee had a very expensive doorstop for almost a hundred years. They had picked up a meteorite, not knowing what it was, in a cow pasture in 1930 and have had it since. They took a metal detector to it and later sold it to the local college for a couple hundred dollars. A man in Mississippi drove his truck into a courthouse to alert authorities that his drug paraphernalia had been stolen. In Pennsylvania, a rooster went crazy and started attacking a woman. It's not that crazy. Nebraska has to have the largest nudist community in the country because of how many stories have naked people in them. In Wyoming, a YouTuber teen successfully built a nuclear fusion reactor, an accomplishment only 60 people in the world have ever made. In New Jersey, a man named Bacon beat up another guy for eating sausage. I mean, I guess you could call that cannibalistic. But anyways, kinetic... Connecticut, Kansas, Mississippi, Nebraska, and Wyoming will be moving on. Well, I'm back, and with me is Purdy Boy, or Michael McConnell. We will see you after spring break sometime, due to weather or whatever. And we'll have more states, and then we'll move on to the next round. Good luck, people. It's crazy.